<laughs> what? When you said we're live, my mind immediately went immediately went to Ed, Ed and Eddie. Why? <clears throat> I didn't do. No, not that. This... Let me just find the sound effect because I can't do it myself. When you said we're live, the first thing that came to mind was this. I'm not sure if that played through or not. I heard it. <laughs> okay, good. As long as someone heard it, we're good. So, Pony had a better volume so looking at Apollo's state, I'm going to say, an, I'm going to say an, an X uh, potion may have worked. Results may vary. <laughs> Your mileage may vary. How are you able to see his state? I just read it in the uh, what you call it. The right. <clears throat> announcements. Yeah. Um, so first off, welcome back to everyone to From the Ashes. My name is Straight Aura. I got some bad news for today because unfortunately Scott is unable to join us today due to a family conflict. Uh, we wish Scott the best in what is going on with that. And we wish Scott's sister a very happy birthday. It's a birthday. You made it sound so terrible. <laughs> why, why is that a bad thing? It's not. I just wanted to. I just wanted to mess with people. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, once again, we are still joined by our regular cast of Artemis playing as himself, Mako playing as Donovan, Bryce playing as Reuben the Vulpix, and Eight Thousand Power ah! playing as uh, Kua the Noibat. So, um, everyone has. Uh, awakened uh, bright and early um the only person who's not in the room right now is sapphire because sapphire uh rose like an early bird and came out and is now curled up as a head pillow for apollo and uh anak is uh currently at the top of the stairs uh waving over donovan because he wants to have a word with him as well as what up good morning donovan the, the good doctor would say, uh, looking down at the zigzagoon. I trust you are well from yesterday's training? More than well. Much better than well. Well, you might want to speak to Emmy downstairs. I think she said she had a uh, little something for you, given how hard you were training and hmm? what was being said on that front. Wait a minute. I get gifts for doing stuff just because? Well... It's not really so much as a gift, but it's a somebody, gift. Whatever. Somebody to help you. To... Please don't encourage him. Please don't encourage him. Uh, I'm zigzagging off. Well, okay. We'll let him run off. Peace. Good morning, everyone. He looks at the other three. <laughs> Good morning. Well, um, I have an update on Apollo's condition, and he's very he uncomfortable someone. right now. Um, Did it work? It is working. I'm not sure if it has worked. Um, last time I checked his temperature, he was running about 105. So well, that's normal. Well, wait, no, he's not a fire type. Never mind, that's bad. <laughs> well, it. I'd be very worried if I didn't know I'd already given him the secret potion. So he's going to be in a lot of discomfort like that for today. Sapphire has asked that she that. <clears throat> excuse me. Sapphire has asked that they be given the day off to help Apollo uh, manage his symptoms. Thankfully, um, that doesn't look like it's going to interfere too much with the treatment, so I've gone ahead and allowed it. Uh, Emmy is downstairs looking for all of you. I'll make sure to take good care of Apollo while you guys are away. 
Sounds like a plan. Good luck down there. Oh, yeah, and Sunrose has also opened up her berry shop. You might want to pay her a visit before you head out. Does she sell, is it just berries or does she sell seeds too? Um, she sells berries right now. She could sell seeds, but she doesn't currently have the necessary machinery for that. At least that's what she told me. Oh. Anyway. Well. Any other questions? Not that I can think of. No, no, I'm good. Anything for you guys? I'll tell you that's know. Good nope. luck today, everyone. Uh, the doctor says Thank before you. heading back to Apollo's room. Okay, wait. What kind of crazy stuff did you guys get involved with last time? Let's see. Well, we found the doctor, he, for starters. He got punched by a dragon. I was there for that, I think, maybe. I don't know. Things no. are kind of weird. Continuity in my head doesn't make so much sense right now. <laughs> Turns out uh, Sapphire is a guy. Uh, Emmy is currently. Um, you want to run that one by me again? <laughs> Emmy is currently uh, getting uh, the rest of breakfast ready in a very haphazard fashion because <laughs> Emmy does not have opposable thumbs and only has one arm. Do you um, you need help? Nah, I was working at this a lot earlier today. I think I've got the uh, methodology down. I'm not sure, but breakfast is served, everyone. Got a little something for you all to be doing today while Paul is getting better. I hope that's not mac and cheese. I saw this Glaceon make it once, and they did a horrible job of it. Well, that's why I decided to evolve and be a Jolteon. Emmy said. Uh, sitting yourself at the uh, head of the table. So, um, I'm sure Anak already told you guys, but Apollo is not feeling well right now. So... It's, uh, uh, out of character, uh, you were cutting in and out for me, Mako. Indisposed. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, a few updates. Um, since uh, no one else really, since Apollo asked me to uh, do so the other day before he uh, started being Annex pincushing upstairs, he's asked me to uh, take over temporary mentorship and put you guys on the task of investigating a rumor of a bandit hideout on the road between here and Ritzville. Apparently, um, they've been getting into kidnapping, but I'm not sure. That's why it's a rumor. And I'd like you guys to see if you can figure out if there's any truth to the rumor and if anyone has been kidnapped to get them out of there. Hey, so we're running what hostage rescue now? Well, it's more like jailbreaking. Oh, that's a certainly a step up. Certainly a step up from getting food. Well, and uh, the thing about these bandits is these the ones that camp out here aren't exactly the smartest people, so they might leave a few things around that even if you can't get them out of the uh, boxes they lock them up in, you could probably mm. bring the boxes here. At least that's my experience. Not sure if they've learned their lesson, and frankly, knowing how smart, how dumb these guys are, I... Wouldn't surprise me if they were still using the same lockbox methods. You're saying you're saying idiots, and I'm hearing targets is what I'm hearing. I mean, around, I that's think what we think about. One it. of us is really big enough to, to big enough to really carry boxes. <clears throat> and it's really not so much that these boxes are big as they are just difficult to open unless you have the right tools. I don't think that it'd be nice to. Make Red Boy our pack meal. I can carry a few things. And who knows? Maybe you might find someone there who's willing to carry a few things back this way. As uh, on the plus, springing them out. On the plus side, Red, at least it seems like uh, Water Weasel is indisposed at the moment. She's a blessing and a curse. Let's put it that way. I'm sorry. He <laughs> is a blessing and a curse. I was about I was about to say. You're um, gonna have to explain that one to me later because man, I was busy last time. Yeah, it turns <sighs> out a guy found, tried to charm her. Charm him. There was a good bite that we were fighting that tried to attract on 
Sapphire. It uh, it uh, mistakes it were made. <laughs> mistakes were made. Anywho, go it was ahead. a very awkward moment. <laughs> go ahead and chow down. Um, also, Sunny said uh, she is now open for business outside. If you guys want to see if you can grab berries before heading out. Yeah, I'm not what? passing that opportunity up. That's a good idea. idea. Let me just check my out of character things. Donovan just passes a glance over at Artie. He's still waking up. He doesn't seem to notice. <laughs> he's too he's too focused on food. <laughs> All right. Well that uh, Emmy would uh, go ahead and start uh, cleaning stuff up over on the counter before uh, retiring to the living room for a uh, midday nap. For a midday nap or a morning nap. Yeah, I can't English say right now. Happens. Okay, that's enough of that. Well, might as well get some berries. Door, please. You're bad at using doors because you don't have opposable thumbs. No, look, my tail's got stuck in the door frame, okay? Good morning. Shush. Good morning, everyone. Sunrose says, uh, waving to the group as they approach. Nice. Nice, nice looking setup. setup you got here. Thank you. Paul helped me build most of it, and uh, Anak and I kind of furnished a bit of basic furniture to help me uh, get started. I'll probably see if I can't buy a few more things later on. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Did, did we post the um, uh, like announcements and stuff? Yes, uh, I yeah. bombed several uh, servers with that. Okay, let me grab it, toss it to people real quick. <laughs> That's adorable, Tigo. All right, so um, <clears throat> Sunny uh, opens up a particular chest uh, holding an assortment of berries as well as listed prices. Well, um, everything here, with the exception of uh, lum berries, is uh, 50 poke each. I, unfortunately, I only have uh, two of each berry in stock right now. I have oran berries, petra berries, cherry berries, rossberry, chesto berries, and lum berries in stock right now. I would try and grow Lepa, Persim, and Citrus Berries, but those aren't really suited for the soil right now. I'd have to get a few things bought before I could actually start growing those berries around here. Uh, can I roll general education? Sure. Okay. That's That one's a bit painful, but I at least know what some of those are. I mean, you um, can always ask. It's not like Sonny won't hold yep. that information from you. But that's true. Can I get a couple of... Uh, how much... He said it was five for each orange berry, did you say? It's uh, 50 Shitty. per day. Oh, oh, 50. Sorry. I uh, guess I'm a little bit more asleep than I thought. Orange. Could I get a orn, one orange berry then? One orange berry. Sure. Orange berry. Uh, Sunny reaches into the chest and pulls out uh, one of her two orange berries and hands it to uh, Kua Thank before you. Uh, taking the 50 poke from him as payment. Could you? Just out of character. How much does one berry you? Ah. Uh, what, one berry costs 50. Oh, how much, no, they were asking how much it heals. Uh, orange berries heal 5, but they can be used as a reaction to an attack. So what you'll find is the difference between berries versus um, like medicinal oh, items potion. super potions is super potions require a full action to use, whereas uh, berries can be used as either a bonus action or a reaction. A reaction to taking damage or a bonus action as part of a turn. Um, could you run the list by me one more time? Oran berries. 
Pacha berries, cherry berries, rost berries, chesto berries, and lum berries. Get me an orange. It's one orange okay. berry for you as well. All right, that'll be 50 poke. I oh, know, I thought that this was free. Well, um, I actually have to start paying bills now that I'm no longer living under Apollo's roof. So, first time buyer's discount? I can buy it for you. Mm, sorry, Do not I'm, don't encourage Though, if you are trying to get a discount, I suppose I could use a bit of help um, getting startup money, though. I can't imagine you guys have a lot on you right now, and it'd be kind of unfair for me to ask that straight up. So. Oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Sapphire have quite a bit? Yes, but Sapphire is currently Apollo's neck pillow. Fair. I'd imagine him having a little bit of a sweat drop as he says that. <clears throat> Let me think. I don't need it, but... I'll take a cherry berry. Okie doke. One cherry berry, that'll be 50. Not a problem. Here you go. And let me, uh, Here, let me take uh, a moment to cut the volume by about half there. Take yeah, that is kind of loud. Yeah, update there we go. my inventory. Okay, Do we okay. have a limit on how much we can carry? Um, <clears throat> right now, the uh, limit is 20 items. Though duplicates of the same item can be held if, um, I mean, for items, actually, no. I'm, it's 20 items total right now. So All right, I'm in. It's going to be, right. I mean, between the rest of you, like, you really shouldn't have too much to worry about. And there will be some items that take up, like, multiple slots just because they are that stinking big. And you'll get, you'll get more into that as soon as we have passed the first boss. Let's see, Cherry Berry. Grab this, copy, and paste into here. Okay. All right. Will that be all, everyone? <clears throat> Let's see. I think so. Investigating Let's... room. Let's see. Investigating room. Um, give me a Pecha and a Chesto. All right. The total comes to 100. Okay, he will rummage around in his little hit in his pack, grab out the, the hundred gruso poke, and just, just slide it on over. All right, here is your berries. Will that be all, everyone? I think. What does a lumberry do? A lumberry will. <clears throat> it'll cure just about every uh, bad condition you have in the field. So let's say you've, um, I remember one time Monroe ended up uh, caught in the middle of a bit of uh, crossfire on a mission. I mean, Monroe's another friend of mine, by the way. Um, he ended up getting confused and poisoned all at the same time. And Ew. thankfully, uh, Anak was actually with us on that mission and he had a lumberry, so... Just using that berry, he was able to be cleared of the confusion and the poison was cured. Huh. He never got out of character. He never got over his thing for that one crook rock, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old callback. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it until you said it, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can feel Mako fuming in the corner. I don't right. know what you're talking about. I'm just eating, I'm just eating my jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Will that be all, everyone? And fuming. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. All right. Good luck today. Okay, now, did anyone ever get the directions to where this place was supposed to be? 
Thought that was on you, Red. Uh, let me see. I think, I, didn't they say it was in the direction of that one city? Uh... So where Out of character, what was the city's name again? Ritzville. Oh, yeah, he, he said it was on the path to Ritzville. So, so wherever, to the east, then. Which driver direction Ritzville's in. He said I can't it was imagine it. East. Yep. Yep, just like that. So, um, um, the group moves on their merry way to the Ritzville hideout. Ah, right, I need to change this. Uh, okay. We are top left. Top left? Top left. Uh, don't or... see me. Hey, Chief. <laughs> Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> Get the music going on repeat. We ain't found shit. All right, so uh, after a fair bit of walking, uh, you came across a very uh, <clears throat> a, a collection of. Uh, foothills with various places that could be hidden inside of as part of an ambush however I... um, the footprints of several Pokemon led into this particular cave which turned out to be a uh, hideout so the walls actually uh, are held up with well reinforced uh, supports that keep the whole cave from collapsing in on itself despite how large it is on the inside so at this point, I'm not going to have any of you guys roll initiative because it is possible to do this entire uh, section without a fight. <clears throat> is it possible to do this entire section without it being able to see? It's still dark for me. I can't see anything. Um, that might be a problem for you here. <laughs> yeah. All right, time to establish a base camp of sorts. I can see my avatar. Here. I can't even see my avatar. Hang on a second, I'm still working with uh, Reuven here. Oh shit, okay, what the fuck? I'm making so many notifications. Okay, we have light. <clears throat> All right. um, let me see that you, Donovan, just to make sure you do not have 20 feet, you have 80 feet of night vision here. Are you have dark vision too, right? Correct. I okay. do not have dark vision. All right, so I'm I'm gonna give you uh 50 feet. Yeah, I see. I can see up to 50 feet. Okay, good. Like this is a, this is as far as I can see on on the screen. Mhm. Mm How far can y'all see? Everyone uh... else has dark vision, so they should be able to see 80 feet. <laughs> yeah, you kind of suck here. Look, I'm just gonna. I would make fire, but that would give us away. So I'm just gonna stick behind you guys. One. Saying it's probably not a good idea when we're trying to be sneaky. Benches and I'm more lively today. So, um, this guy over here is a sentry. However, he's currently looking over this way. It doesn't look like there'd be anything interesting that way anyway. I don't even see the sentry. <clears throat> Man, you are really bad at looking in the dark, aren't you? Oh, sure, I can just blow a fire and then we can just expose ourselves to everything. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, it's best not to take those paths. I guess Donovan is leading the way. Yep. Oh, I see that. <laughs> uh, these are um, several storage boxes Wait, that have been uh, Stop. arranged. Stop. Uh, and these, this right here is a uh, collection of jail bars that are uh, lined up. Hello. 
And uh, everyone, huh. everyone inside that you see here is uh, currently bound up, hand and foot, or in some cases, wing and wing and flipper. Um, mm. Let me go ahead and do a quick perception roll. Artie, in the meantime, or Red, in the meantime, you mind wrangling up all these boxes? Should we check what's in, in them before I start rumming? Before I start considering carrying probably, them all the way out here? Probably should consider making sure they're not all booby traps. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the Elkid is currently asleep. The Ducklet is... Uh, the Ducklet has seen better days. Uh, Growlithe is uh, currently awake and looking on curiously, but the uh, Zatu in the corner has uh, what looks like a, a very large scarf tied around his beak and is uh, currently huddled up in the corner in a seemingly pathetic mess. Hmm. So, um, the result from Kua's perception check on the boxes is that the boxes are not uh, booby-trapped in any way. However, they are very secure boxes, and it does not look like you have the means to open them. However, they are small enough <clears throat> that they can be added to your inventory. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Fox. Yeah. I know that you can't see very well in here. So do us a favor and check to make sure that nobody's coming in this way. Got it. Should we scout out the rest of the area before letting everyone out? Well, let me make sure that these guys are all kosher, if you understand what I mean. Who's going to take a couple of the boxes? All right. Um, go ahead and add three locked boxes to your inventory, Kua. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just gonna... halfway peeking around the wall and just keeping an eye out. Once they're in his inventory, he's going to flop over to the unusual Boy. looking you the uh don't mess not mm. the uh ducklet uh tries to uh hobble over to uh see if he can get closer to uh where donovan is <clears throat> listen i'm not gonna be able to do anything about your situation unless you get closer to the cage now hurry up he uh pushes himself over and is sort of looking at him looking at Donovan, one of his eyes is bruised over, but he's still able to look straight at him. Who... Who, who are... Who are you? A benefactor. Mm. Or, <coughs> it is, uh, one good eye opens up slightly. You're here to rescue? I guess you could say that, but we're gonna need some help. I can't do much for you back here. We can get you out, but we need somebody to make some noise. We can't really make a whole lot of noise from in here just because of how well everything's insulated. I mean, um, you know what I mean. Are you really sure you want to draw all the attention to us? And the guards, they already carried off one prisoner because he wouldn't stop crying. I haven't seen him since then. Who was it? A Rhydon and a Trogus, I think. Um, Boys. Okay. Red. Can you, can you fill the rest of us in on your plan before we just jump up, go out guns blazing? <laughs> yeah. Maybe a little. Yeah, what, what are you doing? So, obviously we can't start a fire, but they can. Shit. They stick close enough to the entrance, we could easily pull them out. Well... We just need to cause enough of a riot so that we can get further in and unlock the big boys. 
Well, you, you wouldn't be able to open the door to our cells without the key. Um, one of the guards might have it, but they change the key bearer just about every day. I mean, I, I don't know who has the key now. Do you know who had it in the past few days? Uh, I don't know. Um, well, last week it was the Stantler and then it was a Talo. I'm just glad okay, these so guys it's... aren't new masters. I don't think we'd ever get out of here. Right. So they, but it's different each time. So, so we're looking at not a Stantler and not Taylor. Well, Red. it might have switched back to them, but I don't know. Red. So who's everybody in the cell with you here? Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, that Growlithe over there, this Alakid here. And we were walking them along along the road when they took us. And that Mzatu person over there. I think they said they found him in a ditch somewhere. Oh. Did they gag him? Like, what's with this scarf? Well I mean, they threw him in here like that and given the way they have his wings bound right now, he can't take it off and they warned my friend against taking the uh, scarf off of his beak that's currently keeping it closed. The uh, Zatu uh, looks at uh, Kua with pleading eyes. Um, Kua, if you want to, you can roll intuition and you might be able to figure out what uh, the Zatu is saying. Out of character. Couldn't he just use... Not, not perception. Uh, intuition is uh, people skills. Perception is observing your environment. Uh, not not very good. All right, so you get nothing on that. Yeah. He just looks like a, he looks like a very sad bird. Look, we'll 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 do what we can to get you all out. All right. Um, Artem, Artemis, what what's going on? And he says that mostly looking at the Zatu. Out of character, couldn't he just psychic it off? Psychic it off. Uh, he could, but <clears throat> his will is a little too broken. I'm guessing that this one's more somatic than anything. Yeah. Red. Yes. What is it? How good are you at sneaking around? Very. Why? You see that meta chan on the way in? Yes. Break him. Not nice. That character, out of character, I really wish I had to right about now. Hey, Ruben. Yeah. We'll be back for you guys in a bit, okay? You just sit tight. Be careful. Looks like we're going to need like, to uh, said do before a bit shifting of back to the wall. What's going if, on? Hey, Ruben. If What's that, going on? if that, if that Metacham doesn't have the key, we could break him enough to make him tell us who might. I'm not stealthy enough. But Red here might be able to do it. I I could probably glide up to him. No, we need Can you some, do it? We need somebody to do it sneakily, and I think that Red's the best. I can be pretty quiet. I can be pretty quiet, but I'm not the most intimidating person. Can you be coercive? What's going to be more intimidating, a red scythe up against your neck or a cute little bat? Fair point. Point. <laughs> uh, I need to whisper the GM something real quick. All right. There's That's someone nearby. Here. He's looking the other way now. 
Hold on, I'm, I'm waiting for a reply. We do this, and we can't let him say a thing. Do we want to check the rest of the... Do we want to check any more of the area before I go try and convince this guy to tell us where the key is? Problem is, is that he's facing our direction. Or no, he might be facing away. Yeah, he's facing away. Can we tell which way? He's facing uh, this direction right now. Okay. So what we could probably do is that me and Kua can sit up along the corners. Make sure nobody's going to disturb you. Uh, which corner? Sorry, which corners? The only entrances that we can possibly see here and here. There's also one. Yeah, there's also one down there. The one up to the north is something that Reuben would, or yeah, that Reuben would be able to probably be able to take because he can't see as well as the two of us. <sighs> Not your fault. Fine, you you guys get in position. I I will run along and set myself up here. Along the wall, of course. Where did Kua go? Wait, yeah, uh, where did you go? Down there. He's gonna. He's just sit up whoops, somewhere around the doorway. Just trying to make oh, sure that like, I had that uh, thing selected. And drop this onto that layer. And then Reuven, I think, should be around here somewhere so that he can watch the entrance. Just gonna inch over. All right. All right. All right. Stage is yours, Red Boy. Uh, how close do I need to be before I need to start rolling stealth? Um, you need to be at least within 40 feet because Metacham is, I mean, Metatite is emitting a light that goes for about 40 feet. Oh, okay, that's what the bloom is. Kinda. Okay. Okay. So... Use the environment. Are those tables or? Yes, these are tables. Yeah, those look like tables. Mm -hmm. How big are the tables? Um, one square is um, five feet. So like these are uh, very large uh, workbenches. So are they like tall? Are they like tall enough that I can hide underneath them? Yes. Okay. Looks like are they big enough to hide one whole absol? One whole absol. <laughs> one entire floofy one entire floofy boy okay no don't snap to the thing so starting like around here I'd probably have to so if I wanted to move like here yeah okay down roll page Um, that was a very ugly roll, but you're good enough. Um, one, 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 six. Jesus. <laughs> um, so you can uh, keep on crawling closer. However, uh, the nat ones would uh, delay your would slow your progress a bit. So right. Meditite's gonna move over this way. Wait, over oh. which way? Uh, oh, he's moving towards the other table. The far, the far corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so you can go ahead and start moving again. But I mean, he's now facing away, so that should be. Artemis is a solid snake in it. Helpful. Two more rolls I got to do. But... Yeah, one more roll. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
survival? No, stealth, yes. Okay, that's a that's lot better. better. Much better. Yes. Um, so again, uh, Artie, Artie is successful in uh, getting over here. And uh, Meditite is going to start moving this way. And is uh, still unaware of the Absol's presence. All right, so he only has to move four squares in order to grab him. He can probably go for it. Theoretically, yeah. He can go for it, I think. Uh... I couldn't get away with pursuit here, could I? Because it's not like running away, technically. Mm -hmm. Actually, I shouldn't. I... Can I say that? I don't, I'm not sure I can say that. You could say it out of character. Out of character, okay. Um, wait. Meta, meta type is a... Psychic, psychic fighting. Yeah, psychic fighting. Psychic fighting. Which means dark abilities should be neutral? Yeah, yeah they, they break even. Yep. Okay. Break, it, break even, yep. We don't have anybody else that would be able to be super effective against it right now. Well, you have Kua, Kua. who uh, knows Gust. Well, yeah, the flying, but still. <laughs> A little noisier. Much noisier. All right. Okay. So it's probably best to actually like, go in and close the distance now. So like right around here. And the last stealth roll, I'm assuming. Yep. No ones, no ones, no ones. No ones. All right. So, Solid stealth. you've approached, and you have not been detected. Let's see. Uh, what's, are you going to try and uh, grapple with Meditite here? Um, can I use a move to do it? Yes, you can. Okay. In that case... It would be like one of two things. Let me think. <laughs> what happened? Make oh. on you okay? I'm looking at creations right now. Oh no, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's great! Yes. <laughs> so um for those of you who are uh watching at home and not watching discord as it's being updated drew has just posted a picture of artemis hiding under a cardboard box he put it in chat oh hey Trudeau. never mind then um let's see thank you thank you Tico. that was so good <sighs> let me think Yeah, let's go with this. Just for speed. Oh. Oh. You're absolutely fucking kidding me. I mean, you're right there. Man, I'll give you advantage on that because right. you're you've currently got stealth right now. Okay. Eighteen plus zero. What? What? I'm looking at the roll. What? It says rolling 1d20 CS. Hmm? Oh, I think the greater than 18 is for um, crit, I think. Yeah. Oh, rolling 1d20 crit critical strike is greater than 18. Oh, that makes more sense, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. so he rolled a 4, okay. Oh. Yeah, so it's... Okay, this time with less sock. Better. <laughs> All right. And still a so, decent decent amount of damage, just in case. A grapple begins, and I'm going to have Meditite roll to try and counter it, and because acrobatics is... Actually, athletics is a stronger uh, category. I used the zoomings. And uh, the zoomings uh, overcame the uh, counter check. So... Um, Artemis, you now have uh, Meditite 
uh, in your grapple. You now have contained the metatite, the metatite in your in your floof. <laughs> I will absorb the nutrients and have an even more beautiful and illustrious coat. The metatite will never be seen again. <laughs> yes. Um... Ab Absol is actually a parasitic organism. <laughs> very, very few. <laughs> the fluff is actually just life fibers. So, um, Nobody the Titan is now them. pinned and still trying to thrash about. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? He keeps on yelling, trying to get out from under this. Stantler, get the hell off me! Sorry, trying to think. I'm going back over my roles to know how I need to play this. Okay. Sorry, this isn't an F. This is no friend of yours. Yeah. I guess that's obvious en enough. Uh, the Meditite is still uh, struggling to try and get out from under, though he's not yelling yet. So, what? Did you come here alone or something? No, this is more of a hostile takeover. Let's put it that way. Hmm. Suppose this outfit had it coming anyway. You honestly think you were going to avoid our notice for this long? No, I just didn't think it was going to happen this quick. But I suppose if I'm going to get out of here, it's as good a time as any. The uh, Meditite tries to uh, turn around to look up at, Abs at the uh, Absol. I've got information, but I've got a price. Look, you're in no real position to negotiate here. At, that, at this point, uh, Artie's going to grab the um, that beat up um, new master's badge and just kind of dangle it and just in front of um, just in front of the Metatite's face. I'm so glad I kept that. Uh, <laughs> it's it's going to be so useful. You do know what you do know what that means, right? Um, roll guile, uh, Artemis. Oh, sorry. I thought you said. I thought you said he said something. Okay. I misheard. I'll be back. Nice. Though. <laughs> um. <clears throat> let's see. Um. That's a lot of focus. Goddamn. Yeah. yeah um, he he's got uh, four d sixes in a plus three modifier. But he did roll in that one on that, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off one of the lower rolls, which is a four. So that drops it down to 12. That drops us down to 13. 17 minus 5 is 12. Anyway. Um, oh, you, you, oh, I thought you said four. Okay, I'm so. Sure. Anyway. Anywho. The Manatite looks up and she's like, My price is that you let me out of here. But here's here's the deal. There's a hallway. Um, down that way, he motions toward the wall. Like, over toward where uh, Kua is right now. Uh, the, the south hallway or the south? Or uh, the uh, southeast hallway. So this hallway right here. Yeah, okay. Whatever you do, stay the hell away from that area. Both of my bosses sleep in there, and they're stronger as shit. The other two hallways are sleeping quarters for the rest of us. One of them has the key. I don't know which. I wasn't paying attention when the swap happened. You're sure it's not you? I give it to you and then be on my way if I did have it. I know what you people do to people who fuck around with you. Exactly. So, are we good? Okay. Can I get out of here okay. now? Yes. Yeah, Art Artie's gonna sl very slowly take a step back. Um, 
And he, but, but he is going to, how to phrase it. He, he's essentially going to follow and es essentially escort the Metacham out to make sure he doesn't try anything. Let's see. I gotta move this over here so I can actually get to the. Uh, actually, Ruben could probably do that too. Once he gets to the door. <laughs> the Meditite's uh, looking over his shoulder and then sees uh, Ruben sort of cocking his head at the full picks, but shaking his head and uh, heading down the hallway towards the exit. So. Oh, no, hold on. Hold on. There we go. So it seems that the uh, Meditite really is on his way out. Go ahead and uh, drop you down to that layer. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you now have that information. The alert has not been raised yet. Okay, I have returned. I right, he's going to motion for uh, Ruben to follow him as he goes to sort of meet up with the rest. So what did you find oh. out? That looked that like one. fun. Of course, very. <laughs> but you can't deny that you're well suited for it, Red. Whether I want to or not. Okay. This hallway should be off limits. His bosses are allegedly down there. They're sleeping. And we don't want to we allegedly don't want to mess with them. The hallway directly down here has the rest of the crew or or has the rest of the Pokemon sleeping down there. One of them has the key. He didn't know which one. What about that hallway down over there? Oh, I actually didn't notice that one until just now. And I'm kind of surprised he never mentioned it. Well, I think that... Maybe more sleeping quarters? Might be, but we need to pick one. Better to focus uh, on one area than the other for right now. I'd rather go for the you one. You mentioned the bosses, and if anything happens, we're going to have to end up fighting them anyways. You're not seriously suggesting that we go down there and take them out while they're asleep, are you? I don't know if we can. I'm. You're crazy. More saying if. It, Look, if anything goes wrong, we're going to have to end up fighting them, so stay light on your toes. Mm. Red, what's your impression? We should probably just go we should probably just go find the key and get them out. What about you, Fox boy? Um, keep on deliberating. I'll be right back. I think I'm in accord with Red, we're not here to we're not here to take out everybody in this place. We're here to get the prisoners out. Hmm. Such Boy Scouts you all are. Someone has to be to keep the others in in line. Well, give me just a second. Since since Bat Boy decided to reveal it, I'm gonna go take a quickie peek. Looks like this might actually be a short hallway. Looks kind of same to the other one, actually. Maybe they connect. Go... Well, they go to the right at the same spot. Well, to the left. Red? What? You trust me? If it bends, I will come back. I'll go down this hallway. 
More intel's better than none. This isn't gonna end well. Out of character, shouldn't we stop until? The yeah, we should. We, 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 we should wait until. Yeah. He just comes running back. Nope. Space time rewind. Space time rewind. <laughs> We're going your way. Nope. F ends. <laughs> wait. What? What did you see? It bends. Which, 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 it goes left, it goes one way, and then it goes again straight down. Which way does it bend? Down. Away from, away from this away room. Away from us. Away from this room. Which means that there's more probably down there. I don't know how big this floor is. Look, the sooner we're in and out of here, the better. There was one guy there, two big guys off this hallway, and who knows how many other Pokemon down this hallway. Fair. You want me to scout ahead again? Uh, fine. But we actually probably should wait for Shredder to get back. How oh, fuck it hurts. We want to be in and out of here. It's supposed to be 77 degrees tomorrow. What the heck? That sounds lovely. That sounds nice. Oh, that fucking hurts. Can we get a uh, F in the chat? For what? 32 degrees tomorrow. Oh, you're pissed out of luck there, my, my friend. Oh, well, he's gone. I'm going to go grab some more jambalaya. Good. I okay. am back. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect timing. You, I, I noticed. I was trying to listen to this conversation, and then Mako had to leave and for getting something. I was just like, "Yeah, so I'm back as oh. well." Anywho, to keep oh, leaving. You were waiting on. Yeah. So, um, you guys are good to proceed if you want to. I'll just move Mako along, keep him at the back. Uh, we can we can wait till he gets back. All right. This, uh, this gives me a chance to nom on more pizza. While he was going to get the, the jambalaya he made, which is also far more superior than what I had, because I just got the box stuff. I got my own. So. What what flavor pizza? Pepperoni, but it has barbecue sauce instead of um. Tomato sauce. Oh, good. Oh yeah, tomato sauce. Who do I want to play as to create the Roman Empire? Out of context, the fuck what? <laughs> I'm going to try and play Crusader Kings 3 and I want to make the Roman Empire. There's an achievement for remaking the whole the, the Roman Empire. Not the Holy Roman Empire, the Roman Empire. What's the least Roman person in history? Why is that guy? All right, I'm back. Welcome back, Mako. Welcome back. My body is filled with spicy goodness. The best kind of goodness. <clears throat> I, I'm going to be on mute for a bit. All right. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the other hallway looked like this, but it was longer. Oh. This is a big room. There's something there. 
something or someone. Something. something. Uh, wait, Stantler. Stantler's bed. Stantler. The other side just have a bookcase. Is the uh, Stantler asleep? Yes. I th I'm assuming they're asleep because those are the little beds. Mm -hmm. It looks oh, like he's uh, got the little status over his head, too. There's a tail up and a. So if, if any of you go in here, you'll need to roll a stealth check. So anywhere within uh, 40 feet. All right. Well, he, well was, he was about to. Uh, with... These are the two that were mentioned. So either these two have one or there's guards in the other hall that have them. Hmm. Given that these two had them recently, because oh, these ones are the least likely to have to be. If nothing else, it will give us more information as to who we might have to fight. But it also might open us up to more risks. Kulu's <laughs> gonna try and see if he can detect any sort of glinting of like metal or keys on these two. Um, there is something glinting over here, though it's uh, unclear as to what it is. Come on, thing, work with me. Where's here? Uh, it's not letting me click here. Let me change tools here. Over there. There's something on that shelf, but we don't know what it is. He's gonna glide over and try to look at it without poking too much. It appears to be an orb of some sort. It's orange in color. And with a uh, general education check, you can figure out what it is. Checks in general education. Can the rest of us try? Yes. All right. You'll need at least a 10. Or a seven, uh, or a dumbish. You need at least a ten, or a roll that has a uh, nat six in order to figure out what it is. And it's just by the power of smooth brain. Smooth you brain. Have fluff brain. Artie and I are both pretty dumb. We're street smart. We're not smart smart. Mm hmm. Asshole. Oh, there's that asshole. Okay. God, this fucking jambalaya is fantastic. Is it seven? Okay. Here I was, I was hoping for it because I had a decent general ed, and I'm like, no. All right. Um, how, you, how none of you can, would it be to stealthily take the orb? Uh, you wouldn't even need to make a stealth check because you're far yeah. enough away. We're far Just enough away. Yoink. Yoink. Just joint it. Let me go ahead and uh, open up your character sheet here so I can add the necessary notes. Let's see, characters. Okay. And with this, I'm up to nine items. Yep. Yeah. Looking a bit heavy there, Bat. Oh, you didn't see any other shiny things, did you? Uh, just the. There was just the chest in the other room. Then we might want to leave this one. These two don't seem like they might have it. Yeah. Red, what do you think? Definitely didn't see any keys on that. We'll check the other room. Mm. Let's go. Is Brooklyn okay. coming? You'll excuse me, Kakua. I'll probably want Red up in front with me. 
Is Reuben coming? He asks. Is Reuben, Reuben staring right in front of him? That was out of character because I didn't see her. Yeah, like you were down in the room on my view, but you like zipped all the way up to where everyone else was. All the Accurate. way. Up. I was, I was moving it like with my arrows, like one step at a time. Hmm. Osaka and Magmar doesn't look asleep. They're not. Well, hang on a second. I haven't even put glasses <clears throat> on them. Oh, never mind. They are. Ruben. Yeah? Mind looking towards the entrance and making sure nobody sneaks up on us. Sure. Who is going to again try to look for any keys on these two? Any sort of linting? Uh, there are... There is nothing on the shelf that could be salvaged. However... Uh, there is... Uh, do you want to try and expand the uh, perception check? Actually, you actually will no, have so looking at, He was noticed. looking at these... Yeah. He was looking at these two, not the shelf. Okay. Um, there is something shiny on the ground over here. I think the sock has it. He had the ground shining close to him. Red. On it. I'll go on ahead and cover the magmar just in case. In case something goes horrible wrong. Hor horribly wrong. There we go. Words are hard sometimes, okay? Kua. Uh, question. Yeah. Pull Reuven back towards the door. Uh, question. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna come up and get and come get Reuven to come close to the door here. Social awareness. Um, where was I? How far can I move without? How far can I move with, without making it? Before I have to make a um uh a stealth, a stealth roll, yeah. Uh, I'd say for sock and magmar in a room like this, about thirty feet's like one more move, and you'd have to be able to uh, you'd have to roll stealth in order to get any closer without being seen. So we could get up to thirty feet with that. Uh, yeah, just like yeah, like right here, mm -hmm. we can get up to thirty feet. So like, right, one more like, space over, and you have to yeah, make yeah, roll. yeah. Yes, but how far can I move from this space into that zone before I need to make a, a stealth roll? Um, once you uh, make your move in, you make your roll, and then you can move the other 30 feet in. Okay. So it's just here, roll. Okay. Here and roll. And depending on how high you roll, you may not even have to roll to get back out. Right. Yeah, I don't even bother rolling again after this. <laughs> I don't even have to cover you. You got this on, dude. And now Fellart is watching in the background here and is like, you should poke me to make tile sets. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Fellarts, you should make tile sets. <laughs> Hello, Fell. You're a sweetie. And it's okay, we'll bully you after the stream, okay? Yeah, we got you, buddy. Don't worry. We know what you like, okay? We, we know. Okay. I also see Yoda in the chat. Yotes my goats. Yotes my goats. All right, so Artemis has required the uh, jail cell key. Let me uh, play the appropriate music for that. Oh, I, <laughs> I was about loud. I, I was about to say out of character he picks up the key the fucking <laughs> item get music plays and everyone fucking wakes up <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said that out of character that was exactly what I was thinking that's why I said that's why I did that <laughs> okay. uh, sounds like perfect for a comedy and we sneak on back out got it got it you're right, such go. a champion I swear <laughs> we can give the pat the pat backs later. Let's get going. I don't get why we can't give the pat backs now. Whatever. Uh, also, is Donovan like canonically drunk, or is it just Mako that's slightly drunk? I think the latter. Could be leather. Could be both. See, he's got a high right now because he got trained. 
Oh, he's feeling. Oh, he's feeling himself. Okay. He's feeling himself. Yeah, he's feeling right. himself. Okay, close enough. That's close enough oh. to being drunk. Let's be honest. Drunk on a different thing. He's high on life. Who has gotten drunk during training? Hello, prisoners. I'm really glad I wasn't aiming to Definitely, hear that, uh, that because that would have been over really to the uh, bars, and then uh, Elikid uh, comes over as well. You got the keys and you got past the guards. How did you guys <laughs> do that? That guy down there is the whiz. Let me just check how much space I have in my inventory before I pick these up. You need any Wait. help with that? Got it. Wait, does the key I have does the key I have work on these boxes? The key is going to disappear after this mission, and the key does not work on these boxes. Okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and grab these two then, because I have more than enough space. All right. Awesome. Three, five, six, don't seven. Want to drop you to the GM layer. Now we don't need you guys to raise a stink, but probably best if you head out here as quietly as possible. You don't need to tell me twice, the other kid says. I'm not sure about um, what's his face over here there, the Izatu. That Growlithe um, looks like he's getting ready to go. We've got a place over in Ritzville we can head back to. Mm. So they come the, over and... Uh, the ride on in the trophy is so we didn't see. Well, maybe today's our lucky day. Mm hmm. Wait, hold on. They said you said the right on and hold on. Or out of character, just just to make sure we didn't miss, miss you. Yourself. The uh, right on and Tropius were captured with them. Uh, no, the right on and the Tropius were not seen. So maybe it's their lucky day. Oh, it's the bosses. Oh, okay. Because early earlier the way he described it, it made it sound like. They were also prisoners. They were also prisoners, yeah. Ah, my bad. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, hold on a minute. When the doors are open, he was going to let them jump out, but since the Zatu's tied up... Cool, huh? Cool. What? What? We gotta get all the prisoners out of here, right? I understand that, but if you do something really stupid and it ends up flubbing this entire thing, I'm going to blame you forever. Okay. No, I kind of second that emotion. <laughs> <laughs> he he turns to the Zatu. Go okay. before you do it. Can can I interject real quick? Go yes. before you do anything. Maybe it'll be better to unmuzzle him when we're out of the slaver dead. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Fine. Help me carry him. The Zatu uh, lowers his head a little, a bit saddened. Artie, you're the only one big enough, or Red, you're I, the only I, one big enough to carry it. Everyone knows. I, I'm... I, I really want to get this stuff off you, but... The rest He's of up. you. Form a line. Any bit of any noise we gotta be worried about. We'll get you out of here as soon as we can, okay? He's outvoted. I want to be rather, I want to be safe and not sorry. Let's get out of here. Riven. Yeah. Stick by me, would you? I'm just keeping an eye out. You're Give that, stick, you know, because I have give, better attack than you do. Give that to uppies. That too. I must give the Zatu the uppies. The Zatu uh, sort of squirms from this action, but he is uh, <clears throat> going to be carried now. Okay. So, da, 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 da. Double click too fast. All right, so you guys have uh, succeeded on all fronts with this mission, thankfully. <laughs> so um, while I'm going and uh, getting the uh, next session of the session ready, you guys Part can sort two. of start uh, migrating your way back to the front. Okay. Do y'all need any help getting the rest of the treasure chests? No, I got them. All right, and the prisoners are we just gonna fast travel to the front yeah we're, we're we're all making our way downtown we're shuffling ourselves out of here walking faster <laughs> da, 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 da. okay 
Um, dum 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 dum. -dum. Oh, come on. And transition. Hang on. I'm almost ready. Let's see. NPCs. Pretty much as, like, assuming like they're walking down the path, pretty much as soon as they're outside of, like, shouting range of the slavers thing, he's gonna unmuzzle the Zot too. So with the uh, muzzle uh, taken off, or the scarf really, Zatu uh, looks at uh, the group assembled and says, You guys actually found us? Yeah, we, we were sort of huh? sent to. Well, we suppose them to. Take a look at the bandit cape? Question. Answer. Are we still in the cave or we're we um, actually back at the. This is sort of the uh, in between area, so. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were in the cave or in the manor. Yeah, so um, we'll save the uh, at the manor stuff because there's a few things going on there now that mandate uh, <laughs> remaining in the dark until the uh, hour comes. Okay. So. Um, with the oh, uh, our... scarf off, uh, Zatu looks around at the uh, group assembled. Uh, who are you guys? Bandits. Uh, he uh, initially uh, visibly cringes movie. away, but then looks over the uh, z the uh, zigzagoon and shakes his head. <laughs> yes, we infiltrated us. We infiltrated another bandit den to steal their slaves. <laughs> who, is, who is gonna hold up his badge? Kua does not have a rescue badge. Wait, I thought I thought I thought they were weren't they given to us? Uh, no, Apollo specifically uh, did oh. not uh, give the badges out. He's trying to make everyone Sorry, earn them. I'm, I'm... Let me, I'm, I'm mixed up in my events here, sorry. Let me roll so okay. for a moment. I guess you can I guess you can say we're just a few people that are just trying to make the world a little bit brighter. That's yeah. that's a good thing. Um got my fun, Riven. Who are you, by the way? I'm I'm Kua. Thanks for your help, Kua. I'm Ichi. Um, nice to meet you, Ichi. Well, I was a... Um, I was the kind of person who could crack open locks, and, well... They weren't happy with my performance thus far, so they threw me in the cell to try to make me work harder. They weren't even paying me at one point. Can we please leave this place? Sounds good. Uh, do you have any friends nearby we could probably take you to my i i don't know i haven't heard from them in a long time who are they well i would have no one oh. actually hang on a second let me uh find ichi's uh sheet here that's metatite don't need you anymore i have to make uh ichi will focus here Holy cow. Yeah, so um, <laughs> Ichi has uh, expert level focus, so that's five D6s and a plus five modifier. Fucking galaxy brain bird over here. <laughs> also, and, um, um, before we continue, I like to gesture you all towards the chat. Drukin did another thing. Huh! <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, an assume, I'm gonna assume it's also over in creations real quick. It's yeah. also probably in creations. <laughs> yep, it's in creations. Yeah. Any of nice. you, any of you uh, catching this later on YouTube who can't see the chat, um, the picture is uh, Artemis carrying Ichi on his back, and Ichi's so, basically wrapped up like a sack of potatoes. 
I'm gonna make an intuition check real quick. Shoot. Wow, he doesn't get it. Never mind. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Ichi uh, looks over the group, and um, he he takes a deep breath and then exhales. Um, he used to be one of the Humble Town rescuers. I'm not sure. Another one. I'm not sure um, if you ever heard the name Apollo, but no, he's no, kind of sick right now. Can't say I have, but I've heard it in a few times in passing mention. You're awful at lying. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch this guy roll for everybody. That was actually kind of decent. I'm kind of <laughs> actually, that is actually a decent roll. Unfortunately, you have to uh, beat Ichi's focus yeah. check. Yeah, no, that shit's not happening. <laughs> all ones, all ones, all ones. Donovan, this guy is... He's dumb, okay? Give him a break. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, all of his zigs and wrinkles are on his code, so his brain is actually smooth. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. You know... Yeah. And then uh, Ichi no. looks over the group who's like, wait a second. You guys actually know? You know Apollo. Yeah. Uh, we could help lead you. We could help you meet with him again. What do you think it's down there? If it's been a while. Ichi, uh, I'm sure he'd be happy to see you. Ichi uh, ruffles his feathers a bit. And then... Um, Looks looks out toward the entrance. That would be nice. Yeah, let's let's leave this place. I should be able to walk. Thank you. So with that, um, the group heads out and uh, returns to. Oh boy. Oh sh. The group returns back to the manor only to find a uh, group of returning guests. Uh, uninvited ones specifically uh, uh, terrific and the uh, <clears throat> group of new masters that had come to raid the uh, manor before looks out at the group assembled uh, this time the right on steps forward saying well looks like you guys have been busy since we last got here we got business didn't to take care of. You didn't learn your lesson last time. You didn't learn your lesson, and we were just caught off guard. So, something tells me that that's just overcompensating for the fact that you guys suck. I mean, they kind of did eat a whole lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you caught us off guard last time. This is how you actually fight. So, uh, everyone, go ahead and roll initiative. Don't go to full size. Just gonna put myself hey, behind a tree. Well, I'm still behind the tree. I'm just keeping myself there. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Absol's tired of their shit. <laughs> Nobody saw the nat twenty I rolled on my my initial. Ah! Oh no, I saw it. Oh. Can't catch me. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Who <laughs> has the zoomies? I mean, these aren't bad rolls. <laughs> That's only <the> last roll. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you big boy. Man, I, I had a really bad roll here. Real bad. Let's see. Why is it always the psychic types that think they're full of themselves? I mean, no. I think it was. I think it was the. Uh, well, LGM uh, is uh, absolutely screwed himself on the roll here. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, Artie's gonna. Eat that. I need to go. I need to check what LGM's type is. I don't remember. It's psychic. It's only psychic. 
it's, it's only psychic. psychic. I thought it was dual type, huh? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Artie's is going to be like, and I got dinner served. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can't uh, get this going here. Artie, it's your turn. Okay. Off to the races we go. Is there music playing? Yes. It's. Uh, I cannot hear it. It's really low. I'm level 16. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, it, it's really low. I need to turn it up on. Okay. okay. I can actually hear it. There we go. Okay. My roommate's just blasting music myself, so I'm good for now. I'm just going to Oh, I definitely did not learn baby doll eyes. No. I did Eggie. not. Eggie. 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 Who fucking who fucking woo, bitch? Who fucking woo? Oh no, Sun Rose is in. <laughs> I mean, you know what they say? Home field advantage. Uh, I'm trying to remember how would he be. Hmm. Out of character, a part of me is looking around to see if Zach's online and or in the, uh, not Zach, Zio's online or in the chat, because it's like, stuff that happened before. Curious. Ooh, feature site. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I, I only, it doesn't do it yet, and I did it on the... I forget which one's talking, which one's which one's talking, which one's throw. I don't remember. This is sock. sock. The blue, the blue boy. You did it on blue boy. Yeah. We. I just did that because um, I added an AC to it because I know it's um. Uh, it can crit. It can crit. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can't miss. So, Donovan, your turn. Question. Answer. Can I intimidate from here? No, you cannot. Motherfucker. <laughs> Where Sapphire and her bleat board when you need her. I can't attack from this distance. However, I know that they can't attack from this distance. You can always hedge your bets by backing up a bit. Since when do we back up? Fair enough. You can't hit from that distance. Okay, I'm good here. Ruven, time to get moving. Oh. Yes. I thought, um, I, I looked over, I thought it was the meta champ's turn. My bad. <clears throat> That's it. There's not much I can do yet none of them have used a move so I'm not sure if this able would work at right now it would not so I'm going to <clears throat> I'm gonna keep to my little hiding place in the tree or behind a tree and just wait All right, so, so next up is Metatite. Pull up the sheet here. I've got a bunch of sheets I have to jump here. I honestly want them to get closer. <laughs> Let's see. How far does this go?
So Me Metite, uh, seeing that he can't close the distance, uh, instead decides to target himself with Meditate. <laughs> I knew you'd try to do that. So, next up is Sock. And Sock is going to find the damn character sheet that I brought up. Okay, here it is. First word of business, Sock is going to focus energy. So let's get the uh, focus energy icon. Ah, yes. Okay, Tigo. Good one. Next up, Rhydon is going to... going to move over this way and is going to target Donovan with Rock Blast. Oh, hell. This was unexpected. You can retaliate to that, right? Um, what is I mean, your uh, special? Evasion. My physical evade? Your special. Special evade. One. So it's six. What about All your right. speed evade? Two. So he misses on the speed of eight. Yeah. Okay, so okay. that's that. And then Espion is going to chime in. And let's see, actually, let's pull up the Espion's character sheet here. Also, is this this out of character? Is this the same fucking Metacham from earlier? No. Okay. No, I wanted to make sure. I wanted to wrap up earlier, like to begin with. Espion is going to use Helping Hand on... Why the hell did I just get rid of the character sheet? I'm bad at this right now. Espion is going to use Helping Hand on LGM. Wrong move. Way. Well, of course it's the wrong move, because I picked it. Um, I mean, unless you want to make Metajam weaker, Metatite weaker in that case, sure. All right, so LGM now has plus two on their next accuracy roll and plus 10 on the uh, next bit of damage that they do. Kua, it's your turn. All right. Uh, Might as well set up for this turn. Yeah, reactivations of double team. All right, next, LGM. Up, and he's gonna move up a little, a little bit. As well, <sighs> yeah, that that's all he can do. All right, so one, two. All right, um, LGM is going to target Kua with Fusion. That's Ooh. an owl. That's an owl. Uh, which, which evasion? Uh, the I special. Don't. Special or speed? That's a 14, my dude. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Thirty-four damage. Sunny is going to see the commotion going on. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
attacks because she's got legs. And it is now Artie's turn. Ah, uh, yes, the egg with leg. The egg with leg. Wait, no, that was that was Sarah. Sorry. No, Sarah. <laughs> Brain plus. Okay. Oh, it's back around to me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Sock probably gets absolutely annihilated. I bet he does, but are you going to do anything this turn? Uh, yes. Let me see. Get, get, get. Why can I not? That was weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The only thing I let me guess, there's only one other thing I have that is ranged, isn't it? At will, at will, at will. Yeah, it's all I will, damn it. Okay. Um which means my best option is just do this again. Alright. So uh you're targeting LGM? Oh sorry. that wasn't on sorry, I didn't mean to roll quick attack. That's my bad. I meant to roll. I'm gonna move uh right on over here. So you guys can actually differentiate where they're standing. Yeah. That should run on right on. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I was too off of the crit. God damn it. Upset. <laughs> so okay. close. So close. So at the end of your turn, um, Sock suddenly clutches his head and falls to the ground. Ha 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 Next up Donovan. is uh, Donovan. Tackling so, which fight's looking a little more e looking a little more even. Hold on a second. Did I? No, I did not. Hang on a second. Um, while, while I'm working on fixing this, Donovan, make your turn. Oh, damn. Can't believe we forgot the burb. Someone's, fe someone's feeling his, uh, his energies. In fact, while... Well, I'll just go ahead and squeeze this in because it really takes, um, because this move's got stupid range and it is what Ichi would do here. What would that be? He targets, uh, Kua with Wish. Protect. Oh, heals. Nice. Donovan. Nice. So how much does he... Oh, wait. Regains hit points equal to half the full HP value, so... Yeah, I bet you're feeling a lot better. You mind moving right on, fat ass? Sure. <laughs> oh my god, look at fucking, um... Um... Creations. <laughs> That will hit. <laughs> that will actually hit right on too, I believe, because it's a cone. Yeah. So let's see. Elgium takes forty-five. Yep. Let's see. Uh, it's just Donovan take... laughing at his face. <laughs> let's see. What was I checking out? Okay, so Rhydon's taking a few hits. 
Alright, let's see. How do I do this? It's now Reuben's turn. Okay, so I'm gonna run. Actually, hold up. Yeah, it's a sprint. That's all right. <clears throat> all right, so you've sprinted. Yeah. All right. Metatite. Thor, Thor Overland is not exactly the most movement. I'll stick with Apollo, and he'll have you pumping iron to get those rookie numbers up. Let's see. Metatite is going to see that his options are limited as of right now, so he's going to go one, two, three, four. Twenty-seven damage on Reuven. Oof. And that's also one injury. Yep. Also, um, Kua, you also get one injury as well, because that went for more than uh, half your health. Okay. Oh, what did baby. Again? Also, um... Bryce, do you want to try and make any reactions to that? Um, yeah. Spite. Yeah. <laughs> All right, make your click. Push the button. Where the fuck is it? Oh yeah. Whatever you oh, do. Oh yeah, I gotta choose a target. Press the button. I repeat. Press the button. Sheet, please. Sheet, please. Don't do this to me. All right, confusion is now disabled. No more of that. Stop. Uh, it's now Rydon's turn, and seeing uh. Donovan's so close because he's not able to kick it right on his ass without getting closer. He's going to move over this way and target Donovan with... Fuck all. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Next up is Espeon. Actually, wait. Now I've already rolled the dice on this. I'm not going to go back. Espeon is going to go one, two, three. And is going to do a lot and push Donovan out one, two. With Tackle. Kua, your turn. All right. Uh, just trying to re read up. Oh, what it? What do entries specifically do? Um, they lower your maximum health. So if you recovered right now, and you had one injury, since your actual maximum is only fifty, you'd only be able to recover up to forty-five. to keep away from the others in the battlefield. He's gonna come over here. You look tasty. 
Wow. If it wasn't for that one, but damn, that crit. <laughs> Let me see. I must feed. I can't All remember. Right, so I don't know. It's, uh, it's 16 walk. damage to yeah. Elgium. Wait, it was on Elgium? Right. It was on Elgium? No. Or, Rhyhorn. Oh, Rhyhorn. And right I was on. about to say, that's a double crit. Yeah, that's, 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 dub, that's double super effect. Is that double super effect? Yes, it uh, is. Gra rock ground. Right on. Checking. Oh, damn, would you look at that? It's a double crit times four damage. Oh, no. This man just got his shit kicked in. <laughs> I don't know how that work, how like the multipliers work in. Uh... Um, in times two, it increases our damage by 1.5. You were very close to, um, well, I can't really say how close, but Rhydon is feeling the heat. I just imagine a huge mass of of plant like grabbing onto him, glowing as it leeches his life out. Drains energy. Energy drain. That's a different move. All right. So as a swift action, Espion is going to use. Miracle Eye. And then as the regular action, it's going to target Donovan. No. Wait, wait, wait. Espeon? Miracle Eye. Uh, yep. Oh. Sorry, uh, Elgium. <laughs> My bad. Elgium is going to target um, Donovan. And I promise you he is going to do that, because even if uh, Roll20 does not want me to do, let that happen. Oh, I'm out. So, that is minus 33 damage, and one injury to Donovan. So, uh, Sunrose sees what's going on and uh, takes this uh, particular occurrence rather personally. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, Sunrose's uh, mane starts glowing very brightly as if she's preparing for something. Uh, Artemis, your turn. Okay, so the other future sight goes off and presumably obliterates whatever is left of right on top. Actually, in that case. Um, <clears throat> that was. That was more 43 than damage. So, right on is uh, dead at this point, or just down. Down. Down, wishing they were dead. So, okay. um. Artemis, um, are you not going to do anything this turn? Oh, no, I'm going to murder people. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking literally going to murder people. Uh, okay. Espeon has... Wait, who has been bullied less? Espeon or LGM? LGM is having a really bad run of it. Espeon um, has still got a lot of health. Well, I need to change that immediately. Huh. We're using pursuit, so that's gonna be. Wow, that was a shit roll. Sixteen. Let's see, what is Espion's? Game? Never mind. Evasion is already calculated, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a hit. That's gonna be thirty-three. Actually, I'll let you do the math here to DM. All right, so Espion is uh, hit bad. And uh, Ichi is ready to uh, make his move into the battle. Uh, I have an opportunity. I see an opportunity. I want it. I want it bad. Let's see. Um, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Ten. Holy shit, what? He sprinted. Okay. I, I, I no one's say. that fast that I know of. <laughs> I was about to say the f So what? Donovan can't move right now because Donovan has fainted unless he wants to use a um, reviver seed. Which I don't have. Alright. Reuven. Your turn. Okay. Two. Actually, hold up. Yeah. One, two, three. Just checking this real fast. One, two, three, four. Okay. Very nice. So, in the general southern direction... Mind you, that hits. That hits in a line, so everything in that area. <laughs> it got stronger. Nice. And if they're holding anything, it's, it's gone. <laughs> Elgin is that a crit? Is... No, it is not a crit. Damn. Elgim is toast. Espeon is uh, feeling the heat. However, it should be noted that uh, Sunny's mane is still glowing and she is looking very menacingly at the Espeon. Metatite sees that um, they've had their move disabled. Besides, let's see. First, let me take a look at their options. Do I still have a free action? Metatime no. decides they are going to make a run for it because at this point, everyone else is more or less toast. Two, three, four, five. That will be Metatite's turn. Right on can't do anything. Espeon uh, looks at Artie and tackles again. So that is going to be twenty four. Cool, it's your turn. Okay. Don't think we should let the meta type get away, but we have a glowing sunny right there. I think we can all guess what's coming after that. <laughs> I mean, I'd be glad that Sunny tackled you away, because I'm not sure just how much range that has. So yeah, all hooped up on Rhyhorn energy. He charges in for a punch. Oh wow. Oh, and they're flinched. <laughs> well, no they're not flinched, they are fucked. Wait, what does Smite do? What's the Smite keyword do? I don't remember. <sighs> I... I saw a guide about that stuff a while ago. I'd have to look back, but uh, I don't think it's really needed. But Metatite's gonna, I mean, Sunny's gonna have to change uh, targets here. Let me see. Hold on, uh, let me see. I just, I just looked it up. When doing, if Smite misses instead of no damage, it's damage resisted one step further. Okay, so it's not relevant. And no secondary effects of the move. Uh-oh. 
And uh, Sonny oh. takes out a fat chunk of Apollo's house instead. And ends up burning um, a section of her face in the process. I mean, I was worried I was gonna get, I was gonna be the one getting hit by that. Sandy! You had one job, Sandy. Um, <laughs> Artemis, your turn. I, I still need a moment to mentally recover from the absolute amount of unga bunga I just saw. Well, critical in the uh, worst way possible. Seven. Uh, if I sprint, that's plus three. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I sprinted. All right, next up is Ichi. Here what? We go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Ichi. Here's your character sheet. Damn, I was about to go after them too. She targets um, Metatite with Psychic. Uh, is Psychic bad against Psychic or no? Half damage. Okay, so in that case it breaks even. Wait, hold up. Let me check Metatite and just make sure. It's Psychic so it's, fighting. It's Psychic fighting, so it may break even. Yeah. So um, Metatite is. Let's see. Metatite is pushed five feet. So over there, Donovan is not moving still. And Reuven, One, it's your two, turn. Three. Hold on. Um... Ooh, that's going to be kind of close, but I'm going to go for it. One, two. Four. And I think this is good. Hey. It's either that or I string it between Ichi and Artie, and I don't think either of them would appreciate this. <laughs> Artie definitely would not. <laughs> One does not simply send fire too close to the floof. Well, it makes a very bad smell afterwards, I am told. That's it. Another line of fire sent off right towards Metatite and a little bit hitting the grass on the way there. <laughs> All right. Metatite is toast. You thought you'd get away after that, huh? All right. So that is the extent of the battle. Good job, everyone. Um, <clears throat> Can we kill them now? Clearly, they they want to come back again. At this point, uh, Emmy uh, hobbles out to uh, see what's happening. Just like, who the hell just blew that hole? Oh, yeah, knocking didn't seem to work, so we just kind of blew a hole through the house. Sorry about that. Um, we that that looks like Sunny's work. Is that the case, Sonny? Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Well, you can explain that to Apollo when he uh, wakes up this evening and wonders why there's a giant hole in the uh, hallway upstairs. I think we um, can repair it before he wakes up. How out of a shape is he in if he didn't wake up from that? Um, he was asleep. I think Sapphire is up there with him as well. Um, anywho. Uh, Amy starts uh, giving the air a smell. What's that smell? Um. Yeah. Emmy then looks at Ichi. Ichi, you are not coming anywhere inside this house until you go around the side and take a bath. 
You smell like you've been sleeping in a ditch for the last three weeks. The uh, I mean, bird, in, uh, bird then uh, presses mean, his wings together. Oh, yeah. Maybe I need to do something about that. I mean, considering he was in a slaver camp for who knows how long, that's probably not too far off. Didn't they say they found him in a ditch? Well, Would it... Reuven, go ahead. Emmy, is an, is the doctor in? I think he's upstairs with Apollo. I haven't been paying too much attention. Uh, we, I think we may have a bit... If Apollo's doing a little better, at least, I think we have a bit more of an immediate situation. I'm going to get him inside. Yeah. Um, Sunny and I will take care of this. Ichi, go get yourself cleaned up. Everyone else, if you can get inside, do so. And get yourself cleaned up. So. All right. Uh... Okay. All right. Come on, Donovan. Is Mako there? Um, uh, ah, I was trying to escort Donovan inside. Mm-hmm. You're or tiny. Carry, or carry him. You're tiny. <laughs> They're both tiny. <laughs> We're both tiny. I can still carry you. <laughs> Suddenly thinks the bodies are flying. What's going on? Psychics. Psychics are fucking stupid. Uh, apparently, Vulpix has a height of 0.6 meters, and Zigzagoon has a height of 0.4 meters. So, Reuven is actually bigger than Donovan. Where's the fucking doctor? Let's see. Um, let me... Pull him on correct layer first. Proven just takes him over to the stairs and tosses him down. It just goes like. <laughs> he wouldn't. Inaka so comes rushing. He'd down, at least comes rushing down the stairs. He goes uh, back here and is like, "What's going on? Why is there a hole in the side of the house? Siege. House is under siege. Big, big fight. Is everyone safe?" We're alive. Mostly. It sounded there was fighting outside and then there was a hole ripped in the side of the house that blew out a section of the uh, hallway. Yeah. Instead we of kinda, firing we, we, towards the ground, it got fired towards the air. We kind of threw off her aiming when we took out her target. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Uh, he then uh, sees Donovan. Bring him into the kitchen. I'll see if I can't uh, turn Apollo's table into a uh, <clears throat> place that I can actually uh, triage his injuries. Donovan's aren't supposed to make that noise, are they? That sounds like some. Any chance you can treat us too? We we. Yes. Um. Let me. Uh, we first, all did some damage there. Let me first uh, assess the extent of Donovan's injuries, and yeah, I'll see he's what I can more do. More important. I'm gonna go bathe in fire. Who is gonna keep an eye on the front door for? Actually, that sounds like a better Note, idea. Nope. Notebook at notebook at ready. Let's see. So, uh, after a uh, few moments, Donovan uh, starts, uh, I mean, not Donovan, uh, there are footsteps coming down the uh, front stairs with uh, <clears throat> a set of uh, smaller stair- uh, foot pads uh, padding alongside those uh, steps, feet things. I don't know. Words aren't working for me right now. Feet. Just, just, just. Pause. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no 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 no. Help me. Uh. Hi Apollo. Apollo uh, hey. looks up uh towards where the hole would be, 
And then uh, looks around at uh, everyone assembled. Do I even want to know? House is under siege. No. Is it currently still under siege? No. No, sir. Good. Apollo said, um, uh, and he's currently Sapphire is attached to his leg, sort of like uh, what was uh, talked about uh, two sessions ago. We we found an, we found Anichi. You found a what? Apollo turns around an, and it looks like Anichi. Azatu, by the name of Ichi, says he knows you. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. Where is he right now? Taking uh, a shower? Be- up. He I mean, was sort of in a in the camp you sent us towards. Not not in the best of shapes. That so guy he's is never gonna baiting. learn to take care of himself. Apollo says shaking his head. Oh, Hi. Hey, Ichi. I I had some things I was hoping to ask if you're all right with that. Um, sure, but maybe later. He, he uh, okay. stammered before looking over at Apollo. Apollo uh, sort of looks at Ichi with a frown. In the ditches again... Ichi uh, sort of prods his uh, wings together a moment before sheepishly nodding. <sighs> All right, you're staying here until you can learn to take better care of yourself. I mean, honestly, where would you have ended up if Monroe didn't stick up for you back in Humble Town? Come on in. Uh, Apollo uh, trudges into the sitting area. And uh, takes his seat in his uh, regular place. Ichi sort of uh, starts waddling his way in and um, just standing awkwardly right here before Apollo finally motions him to take a seat over on the sofa. How are you guys feeling? A bit better, but tired. Yeah, that fits the bill whenever that doctor decides he's done with Donovan and helping him out I'm gonna go pay him a visit till then I'm gonna lay down today was fun though you know aside from the whole round two with those guys So by this time, uh, Anak would now be done with uh, Donovan, and Donovan would be able to walk around, but he'd have a cast on his arm. Do you want to go first, Rude? Yeah. Unlike you guys, I'm not exactly used to getting hit. Uh... <laughs> Just remember to keep that elevated tonight while you sleep, young man. Shush. Okay, thank you. But shush. I didn't mean that in a mean way. I'm honestly surprised I've been going this long without it. <sighs> that fight looked out there looked uh, pretty rough, at least by the sound of it. You doing okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. It's not the first time we've seen those guys. I think those were the guys from the night we actually first came across your place. They were? Oh, wait. Different room. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is Anak yeah. talking to I... uh, Riven. You say they've come here before. Do you know who Yeah. They are? New Masters. The, we uh, encountered those guys when we first got here. And apparently we caught them off guard when we first got here. And now that we've seen them face to face, well, we beat them again with more wounds, but we beat them again. <laughs> it's unfortunate that they uh, went to that level, though I can't say... 
they really had much of a choice. You think there's a puppet master? Well, I think that if they went back to their lieutenant with the story of failure that they probably had to tell after that night, they would have paid for it either with their lives or by being sent off to uh, one of their one of the re-education camps. Gonna give me a second. Gonna just do a quick. Uh, what are you uh, rolling education for? Trying to see if he knows what that what that re-education camp is. Um, there is a lot of critical information that actually. Uh, I'll go ahead and give this one to you. Um, many of the uh, re-education camps being run by the new masters are currently under the uh, direction and control of one of Desolute's chief lieutenants by the name of Zor Elan. Fair enough. And the uh, people who go, who actually emerge from those camps alive aren't all there mentally or physically. You, s you say re-education, but I'm, if memory serves, it's more like a death camp. Well, people... far be it from these people to admit failure, of course, if it were up to me, they wouldn't be in power in the first place. Anyway, um, I've applied a bandage. Uh, make sure you keep your uh, arm elevated uh, tonight when you sleep, if you can. So, oh, so uh, go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and remove the one injury so that when you uh, recover tomorrow from your rest that you'll actually uh, recover um, your health as well. Trying to figure out how to remove the injury. Mm. Give me a bit. There we go. Yeah. Uh, had a friend that ended up in, ended up getting stuck with those guys and ended up going in one of those camps. <sighs> sorry for your loss. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Anyway, that should be enough um, on that today. He then uh, looks over to see Artemis poking his head inside the room. Can I help you? Uh, hold on. Uh, no, I just came to check in to see everybody was okay. He, he stammers, and he's kind of a little bit pale after overhearing the tail end of that conversation. He just really quickly scampers up. Scampering doggo. Surprised to hear he cares. Even so with um, no one else uh, coming out to get examined. Oh, well. And it comes in. Soon to be joined by Sunny. <laughs> Right, because Ku is going to wait for Ruben to come back before entering the room with an act. Mm -hmm. So, Emmy isn't actually going to be trying to sit against the wall over here, make sure uh, Artemis isn't so lonely over in the corner, because she's excitable heart. She's excitable floof, or prickly floof. Paul uh, looks around at the team. Well, Sounds like you guys had a uh, good run of it in the bandit den, didn't you? That was the easy part today. It was. Well, <laughs> it was the part I was most so, worried about. I didn't expect any of you guys to be crossing paths with the new masters right on my front lawn again. Oh, um, no, we didn't either, but... It is what it is. We, fit, we worked with what we had. No. <clears throat> Thank you for chasing them off again. Um, Emmy, Emmy and I will find a more permanent solution about uh, those folks um, tomorrow because they are certainly not going anywhere tonight, given what with you guys have to them. With all due respect, and pardon me for speaking out of term, this is the second time we've seen those guys. 
knowing what they do to us, can we just kill them and be done with it? I don't want any of you wrapped up in that if I can help it. Leave that to Emmy and I, and we will find a more permanent solution. Didn't know that you had such a thirst for blood, Fox. Most of the time, no. New masters, however, I don't like them. You think that badge over there is going to agree with you? I wasn't asking for it. I wasn't asking for an agreement. Mm. Out of character, is there going to be a chance to get healed by a knack, or is all um, that's done? that's all going to happen uh, off screen? So, okay. And I'll uh, I'll post uh, what how much you've healed um, from an axe uh, work uh, later tonight. So Apollo uh, looks around, says, I "Want to thank uh, an axe because apparently his uh, secret potion uh, did its charm, and I can actually smell something for the first time in a long time." So go ahead, get some rest. Make sure you guys tend to your injuries tomorrow. Because I'm going to be coming out with you, and we're going back to Placid Lake. What do we got to do there? idea. Uh, we had a bunch of people talking at once. Uh, first, uh, Reuven. No, all I said was, "Wait, what?" We're going out to Placid Lake, and I'm just going to be watching you guys work, and I'm going to see if you guys can find your way into. Um, <clears throat> a hidden section of the lake that is actually locked off by a few magical locks. If you can't do it, you can't do it. But if you can, it'll be nice to see how you all work together. It's been a while since I've been out in the field like that. And uh, Anak uh, finally steps forward. Apollo, the secret potion has only just done its work. Perhaps you should be taking it easy. Oh, I'll be taking it easy, Anak. They're going to be doing the work. I'm just along as an escort. So. Mm -hmm. With, uh, uh, also, uh, what was, uh, oh. Donovan trying to say? Are you sure that that's a wise idea? Well, I've got a, uh, reasonably competent rescue team taking me through. And unlike most escorts that rescue teams have to take through, I know better than to get in your way. And I can actually support you guys pretty well, even in my limited capacity. Hmm. Well, as long as it's not a repeat of the last time I have to escort somebody, I'm fine with it. What happened last time you had to escort someone? Apollo looked over at Riven. Ah. <sighs> They upset. They they thought they knew where they were going. They kept running ahead of me. And they set a wild flock of birds upon themselves. It was a long night. <laughs> All right. Apollo uh, looks over at Donovan. You sure mm. you're going to be all right tonight? I'll be fine. What's important is that I managed to take two hits that nobody else had to take. That's better than one. Apollo uh, pushed himself up out of his chair, walked over this way, and let's see. Hmm. Uh, he tries to raise his paw. And because I managed to get an even roll on this, you get to see uh, one of Apollo's hidden moves now. Targeting Donovan. Uh... Donovan, you've just been healed. Uh, fifty percent of your health. That that was heal 
Recover? No, not recovery. Heal pulse. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Heal pulse, right? You're correct. Uh, it was a move I decided to pick up after a bit of time among the Humble Town Explorers. Made me a lot more of a team player than a bruiser. How how did you end up learning a move like that? Well, I had to know I needed to learn it first. And, well, the story of how I knew I needed to learn it is a long story. Certainly not one I'm prepared to tell tonight. Fair enough. Although it is nice to see you up and walking around and not coughing everywhere. Reuven, I am happier than I look. But right now, I feel like a long day is finally coming to an end. At least for me. I've been sweating bullets, and Sapphire can tell you all about it. I think I'll be spared the details there. Yeah, I think you would all be better spared the details. Also, Emmy. Hmm? The uh, Jolteon steps forward. Did you have something for Donovan that you wanted to show? Oh, yes! Emmy uh, reaches into her bag and pulls out a uh, disc-like apparatus. Walking over and uh, coming up to Donovan. So, Donovan... I heard from Apollo the other day that you were uh, training really hard and that you were trying to diversify your moveset, right? A little, yeah. Have you ever wanted to learn a water-type move? <laughs> Boy, would I. Because, gosh, whenever we don't have Sapphire, things are bad. All right, well, uh, I have for you a TM for a move called Whirlpool. Do you want it? Just just shove it in my mouth. Well, <laughs> see, that's the problem. Um, about 30 years ago, when Apollo and I were rescuers, the way we taught TMs to people was we either shoved it in their mouths or we took the TM and we smacked it over the top of the person who was trying to learn that move until it worked. Now, can that's take, a very... Can um, what? C could, I, could I take Route A? I don't want to be smashed over the face with a CD. Well, you don't have to take road A or B, because I actually have a device here that can uh, help use TMs in the way that they're supposed to be used, and they actually work the first time it's used. Uh, and he pulls out a uh, special device and then uh, puts like a little like cord apparatus into Donovan's mouth and just like, all right, bite down on that. It doesn't have any side effects, does it? Um, Blah. let's see. Uh, do you suffer from epilepsy at all? Epilepsy? Okay, no, you don't. So uh, <laughs> she puts the uh, TM into the device and uh, hits the button. Donovan might feel a uh, slight shock before several uh, memories that aren't his start flooding into his head. And Donovan now knows Whirlpool. He's not going to end up learning a water move several times, is he? Uh, no. Um, I remember hearing a story about uh, one of the Wayfinders uh, using a TM and it going horribly awry, but we've uh, made the process a lot safer when we've done it by leaps and bounds, Emmy said, jumping up onto the sofa and curling up there. Still, the story about uh, Danica learning how to use Surf on all those different ways... <laughs> What are you um, laughing at, Brad? It's uh, cool what she could do with that move. So, anything else? Uh, out of character, any other uh, interactions with the NPCs or with each other? Um, I have a question. Do either of you guys have any spare building materials around? Apollo uh, nodded. We have a few things, and Sunny is about to learn how to rebuild the entire side of a house that has just had its wall blown out, and she's going to get very good at it. I'm going to give her directions on that, and uh, that's what she's going to be working on. Uh, Ichi right. uh, raises a wing. He's like, I can help with that, too. Maybe I could have been faster and stopped her from doing that. Apollo looks over at Ichi. You do not have to, but I'm not going to stop you if you decide to. What? How, how could you have known that would happen? 
I, uh, Ichi, uh, puts his wings together and shuffles them a bit. Maybe if I had been a better seer, I could have seen that would happen and taken a different course of action. I noticed you had the type shift as well, so I just wasn't sure whether you still had that. Oh, kind of um, a power. Uh, Ichi shifted his uh, wings a bit. Out of character, uh, I never got an answer from Yoda about uh, how Ichi made his type shift. Or, like, which type he shifted to. So. I can look that up quickly. Uh, yeah. Psychic Dragon. Psychic Dragon. So, uh, Ichi's... Um, Ichi nodded. Yeah. Um, I did have a type shift. Though. My ability is okay. He, he just nods. What Was that the end of your question? He looks over back at Kua. I have more questions, but I think it's more important that you recover a bit first. It seems like you were in quite like quite the stressful situation and um, yeah, I, maybe I don't I don't want to overwhelm you. I'm sorry if I've been a bit pushy so far. Um thank you. And I'm i I'm sorry I'm like this I'll probably be better tomorrow. So, um, <clears throat> out of character, uh, any more interactions with uh, any of the NPCs at this point? I think Don is good. All right. Yeah, I'm good. So, with that, we are now at the end of our session, and tomorrow yeah. we will get to do our first escort mission. Oh, boy. We will see you all again one week from today. Escort missions. Here's hoping it doesn't get us killed. Don't that was the sign of Donovan dying inside.